Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I know you're saying two videos in one day, what gives? Well, <laughs> two hours after I released my video this morning about Unify Network Application 7.5.172, they released Unify Network Application 7.5.174 dot one seven four as uh, the official release candidate so you get all that cool stuff that goes along with 7.5.172 which is uh along with unify os three uh 3.2 you get you know we're getting fqdns for ipsec vpn we get the cool animations all that stuff here is a uh, real quick list of what is in that 1.74 so immediately they found something so here's the deal right this is 7.5.174 but i could upload this video and 7.5.176 could go go into early access testing because now users have reported issues but uh they added two improvements they added a tool tip for real-time internet traffic and improved application stability a lot of vendors have these very vague things that they say. This is one of those statements, improved application stability. Okay, why? Right, that's like internal bug fixes. Okay, but here is the uh, bug fixes. Fix the inability to delete firewall rules. We talked about that. Fixed page crash when accessing offline device settings and fix an issue with loading statistics when using Mondo MongoDB 4.4 on a network server. As always, create a backup before upgrading and uh, see the Unified Network Server Help Center article for more information on self-hosting a server. So they have useful information there about tuning uh, your server if you're going to have large amounts of devices and sites. So it used to be back in, I think I did a video like in 2017, you know, talking about adjusting the, the Java uh, VM uh, settings. There's a lot more to it now as you can do some MongoDB tuning and things like that. Um and then, of course, uh, it tells us how to download, where all the download links are. So you can see uh, the native application for Unify OS, um, the Unify network application for Unify OS, Debian, Ubuntu, Mac OS, and Windows. And there's 21 comments on this already. So it looks like people are hopping on and testing it. As always, if you can't afford to have bugs, maybe wait a couple days on this, I had somebody ping me and I said, you know, I did a video on this uh, this morning and then they officially released this. So maybe there'll be another release. Maybe hold off a day or two unless uh, you like living, living on the edge. That's cool, too. But um, where I have 7.5.172 installed, I will get 7.5.174 installed and we will get that all up to date. So if you've got questions about this, let me know down in the comments. As always, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with our affiliate links if you'd like to support the channel and a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you've got a self-hosted controller and you want to upgrade it but you don't want to deal with it, you can reach out at willyhow.com. Cruise on over there. Fill out that contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. We also do consulting on storage, voice over IP, security, all those good things. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.